a barrier blocks people from getting to the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, Egypt. It is one of 22 American embassies and consulates across the Muslim world that won't open Sunday because of a terror threat. CBS News has learned U.S. intelligence believes a plot is underway and there is a team of terrorists already in place to carry it out. They don't have specific enough information about the plot or the target. And so authorities are looking for that information now to try to disrupt the plot. The State Department warns the threat for a potential terrorist attack is high, particularly in the Middle East and North Africa. American allies, including Britain, are also taking precautions by shutting down embassies in Yemen. U.S. officials say American or Western locations in Yemen, the home of the terrorist group Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, are possible targets. There is also a global travel alert in effect through the end of the month. Officials are warning American travelers heading overseas to take extra precautions, especially on public transportation systems and at tourist locations. Jihad Saber is traveling with her father from New York to Alexandria, Egypt, to visit family. They are aware of the threat but aren't changing their plans. Everyone's just like, be careful. I've gotten a lot of texts before I left, like, please save, don't go protest, don't go out on Fridays. White House officials tell CBS News President Obama is getting regular briefings and has advised his team to take all steps to keep Americans safe. Marley Hall for CBS News, New York.